In this video, we're looking at construction six, which is asking us to divide a line segment into two or three equal parts. I'm going to look at it involving three equal parts. You'll need your compass, ruler, set square, and a pencil for this construction. And the first thing I'm going to do is basically draw an angle on your page. So it doesn't matter on the size of the angles, with your ruler and your pencil, draw two line segments, which are going to create an angle. Again, it doesn't matter on the size of the angle. I'm going to label my line segments here. So I'm going to label the corner, which creates the angle, this vertex. I'm going to call that angle A. And I'm then going to call the top of my line segment B and the lower line segment C. So I've labeled A, B and C. I'm now going to take out my compass and I'm going to mark off equal segments on this line segment AB. Now it doesn't matter the distance of your radius on your compass. So it doesn't matter on the distance, we just have to keep them equal. So no matter what you set it at, we must be consistent throughout the whole question. So I've set my radius there now and holding the compass from the top, I'm going to just mark an arc on that line segment AB. Okay, so you don't have to do a full circle, an arc like that is fine. I'm then moving the nib of my compass to that arc where it intersects the line segment AB and I'm going to draw my second arc. So I'm dividing this into three segments. So there's my second one. I'm moving the nib of my compass to my second one and I'm marking my third arc. Okay, so there are the three arcs. I'm now going to put away my compass. I'm just going to put a dot at that last one and I'm going to use my ruler now and my set square. So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and line up my third dot here that I'm highlighting in green and I'm going to connect it to the corner C and I'm going to use my set square for that. So I'm moving my set square down along until it touches the third point on my line segment AB and that it touches my vertex C, which it is. And in order to keep that there, I'm going to move my ruler down to the base of my set square, like that. Okay, so you can see that my ruler now is sitting on the base of my set square. I'm now going to draw a line from C up to my third point on the line segment AB. So I'm taking out my pencil now and I'm drawing a line and connecting them together. So there we are. So there's my first line drawn. I'm now going to keep my ruler there. So holding your ruler steady with your hand, I'm now going to move my set square along that ruler. So I'm just sliding it down until I get to my second point on that line segment AB. So again, it's sitting on the ruler and I'm going to connect my line segment AC to that point. So again, with my pencil, I'm connecting the two lines together. So if I remove my uh, set square for a second, you can see that I have two red lines which are now parallel to each other and they're parallel because I'm sliding my set square along my ruler. And I'm looking for my third segment, so I'm going to continue sliding my set square along my ruler until I get to my very first point that I drew, or my first arc, and there we are, and I'm going to draw a line from that point down to the line segment AC. And if I remove my set square, I have now constructed three equal segments along that line segment AB and AC. And that is construction six. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.